Okay, so this is going to be basically an important lesson because this is getting ridiculous. And the only reason I'm making this video is because just the rate of which this shit is spreading off of absolutely no basis whatsoever, and they don't even understand what they're talking about, I have to make this video. So this is just a lesson everyone needs to keep in mind. This is the stock market. And as soon as emotions on a mass scale start getting involved in your play, it becomes very dangerous. Um, Seller boxing, one more time. Shoot some hoops, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, one more time. Just one more time. Oh, yeah. There we go. Anyways. Okay, Reddit has become the new Twitter. Changed my mind. Uh, there's a nice new DD posted, uh, or, or, you know, DD, whatever you want to call it, discussion. Um, clearly by someone who's emotional, clearly upset that his uh, unicorn theory here isn't real. And we're going to prove that in this video, by the way. Um, so we talk about seller boxing, how it was confirmation of the months of DD and a, mo a momentary glimpse into an alternate universe. Um, I don't know what you're smoking, but I'm baked. Um, but I like to stay in reality. Um, if you want to stay in your alternate universe, that's fine. But don't go spreading regurgitated bullcrap all over the Internet. Remember, no emotions. This guy's clearly emotional. So the really exciting part, again, emotion. What's exciting about seller boxing? Nothing. No, I guess he's excited about direct registering shares. Why? Because he's impatient, he's bored, and this is the lesson of this video. This is what you do not want to be right here. Because, again, all of these claims here are from an emotional standpoint, and they don't provide anything of value. So we're emotional, uh, glimpse into an alternate universe, uh, no thanks. How do you read the DD and miss all of the above? Um, because I'm not looking for something that's not there like you are. Um, because again, the source you're going off of, the seller boxing quote DD unquote, no sources, no supporting evidence, no examples, and you don't even understand the term you're referring to. So... Uh, <laughs> It's unbelievable. So not only that, but this term does not exist. So when you go to Google and you type in seller boxing in quotes, you get about 6,330 results. This is all time search. So whenever you search uh, before August, actually I was nice and I even included the recent discussions in August. So if you include August, 31, you don't even get an amount because there's so few. Sorry. So whenever you search from like 1 1 1980 to 8 31 2021, you get about eight pages of results. Just go see for yourself how much of those are relevant. You'll be surprised. Not any of them, except the ones that I found that I'll be presenting right now. So when you search, you find a little slideshow here that, again, it just explains things in a very vague and uh, halfway incorrect way, but let's go through this. Naked short selling, seller boxing. Disclaimer, stock speculation is very risky and may not be suitable for you. Do not trade with more than you can afford to lose. Seek professional investment advice. And there's no such thing. This is not investment advice. <laughs> no warranties. You are on your own. Naked short selling. Short sellers have sold the stock and need to deliver stock to the buyer. They borrow this stock. They borrow this stock. If a short does not borrow stock, he is naked. Okay. The actual problem, predatory short selling. Companies with negative cash flow need to sell new stock to survive. Predatory short sellers can drive the price down and stop the company from raising money. The actual problem, predatory naked short selling. Again, naked short sellers can sell an unlimited amount of stock and will have huge profits if the stock is down. I mean, you see how this is worded? Like it's like a five-year-old. Then we get to the seller boxing part. Seller boxing. Thus, the short wants the stock to stay in the seller. He sells more stock to keep it down. So by naked short selling, you put it in a seller box is the theory. So therefore, seller boxing is not short selling. And the problem remains with naked short selling. So I just I'm, I'm, I don't understand why people are trying so hard to create this unicorn for no reason with no grounds. Uh, the pattern, the seller box stock may trade at zero bid, 0 0.0001 offered. 
that's not zero bid, the minimum quote allowed, or at 0 0.0001 bid offered at 0 0.0002. Okay, so it can trade at zero bid or at non-zero bid. None of this makes sense. Seller boxing again continued. As seller boxing is a form of predatory naked short selling, well, hold on. In the seller, 0 0.001. That means it's literally already naked shorted down to the point where it cannot be naked shorted any further. This it, this makes no sense at all. I'm trying to get y'all to understand that by showing you concrete evidence. Unlike anything that you've seen with seller boxing, there's none of that going on. So seller boxing cannot be a form of short selling as by its own definition, it's literally only a state of being for a stock being boxed into a seller, ergo 0 0.0001 per share. So even the origin of seller boxing doesn't make any sense. This only happens to shit stocks if this even happened and only to stocks that trade over the counter and it would only be relevant if retail FOMOs into the stock for some reason. And by the way, securities have the option to voluntarily delist from the market, by the way. So if a company was found in this situation, they could voluntarily delist from the market. So I doubt any company would just sit there and allow their assets to continue to be quote unquote seller boxed if that even was a thing. So the target price is $1 for shorts, by the way, not uh, 0.0001 because all NYSE listed companies must maintain an average closing price of at least $1 per share for all common and capital stock based on rule 802.01C. If shorted below $1 for more than 30 trading days, GME would be delisted and moved to the OTC markets if they wanted to. Therefore, seller boxing is not even possible without naked shorting, making seller boxing irrelevant. And seller boxing cannot be the end game because you would have to be in on with the company because the company would want to allow themselves to be seller boxed. So the whole thing makes absolutely no sense. Despite how emotional you get, it doesn't make sense. Now let's talk about the 10 year old YouTube video. Uh, again, what does seller box mean? This is the one that, uh, was posted 10 years ago and you know, it's 13,000 views. Um, he was active on his channel yesterday talking about it, which is fine. I've, I saw a follow up video that he made that he talks about how he's very active on his channel. So he's clearly in for the channel. He has a travel channel yet. He holds the magic bullet to the stock market. That's going to somehow magically cause Moas and how somehow is relevant to all of our situation right now. It's not. Now this is the follow-up uh, video. He turns out to be a very nice dude. Very nice dude. Admits he has no financial background. Um, gives a couple definitions of a penny stock. Clearly amazed that the video he talked about has traffic um, as it's one of the only ones available for this topic. Um, he, he then goes on to promote his channel, promotes a few penny stocks, and uh, he says he wants to get to 100,000 subs as soon as possible. He wants you to subscribe, like his uh, videos, and hit the notification bell doesn't go into any more detail about seller boxing, about any relevance at all. He's just going with the flow. So again, I haven't seen one shred of evidence for any of this. Now let's talk about the 17 year old DD post. First of all, this is not DD. This is 100% speculation. And after reading it, um, it no longer applies because NASD is now FINRA. This was in 2004. Regulation NMS was established in 2005. Seller boxing only works for profit if retail buys at 0 0.0001 per share penny stock, which why would you do that? Incorrect about the infinite spread. That's not possible. When there's no bid, the security or contract is declared worthless. You can't have a stock sitting at one bid. And I've been asking people or a zero bid. I've been asking for an example and I'm yet, I've yet to get one. So still waiting on that. So in order to participate in seller boxing, the market makers first need to pummel the price per share down to these levels. So how do you do that? Naked shorting. Does that make seller, seller boxing the problem? No. Naked shorting is the problem. The lower they can force the share price, the larger are the percentage spreads to feed off of. 
This is easily done via Garden Variety Naked Short Selling. Oh, hey, how come y'all haven't been jacked over this? Garden Variety Naked Short Selling. That's another term thrown in there that no one's ever heard of. So again, not one reference. The rest of the post goes on to reference rules that no longer exist. Um, there's, again, not one example of this provided, not one reference. So my message to the original uh, Reddit post creator, um, stop spreading your unicorn that was created in 2004 and then reiterating it by, uh, you know, backing a traveling salesman basically from 2011 who probably read this same post you did. Mo asks what happened when it happens. You regurgitate articles of articles with zero references and then cry like a baby when you get debunked by trying to justify your idiotic claims because reasons. Impatience is not a good habit to have in the market. It doesn't care about your emotional state. Trying to create reasons for reasons of things to happen is not going to make anything happen. So this is all unnecessary. And hopefully this video is helping a lot of people wake up to the fact that, holy shit, there's no evidence for any of this. But again, people don't like to admit when they're wrong. So we've got a sec Edgar. Uh, if you type in seller boxing and you search between 1980 and today, uh, nothing. If you go and you type in naked short selling, just 561 search results. That's not a lot. However, it's there. So let's focus back on reality and get out of the alternate universe. So I've basically just given you several reasons why seller boxing is simply a made up term by people who are speculating. And it's clear that the hype is spilling over into GME now. And it's terrifying because again, like misinformation drives me crazy. Okay. That's why I make it, it, it bugs me. I, I can't stand seeing the shit go around based off of nothing. So that's why I'm making this video. Sorry, it's a little bit long. I promise I'm not going to talk about seller boxing anymore because there's nothing to talk about. So change my mind with evidence. -uh, it's not an argument. And again, I don't care. No emotions, just <laughs> giving you a little taste of reality. That's what everyone needs in the stock market.